hi everybody welcome to another youtube video uh, i have a, another horse to update you on today so we're going to be talking all about obi you will have seen that in the thumbnail um so obi's been on a serious journey with us here at hackett equine he's been here for nearly five years and we have done so much fun stuff we have jumped big jumps we have been to the nationals with dressage we went to the national combined training final we have gone cross country training we have been to the beach we have been and won so many red rosettes i lost count um my time with obi is up so sadly um he's not owned by me he's owned by the lovely michelle cooper and he is going home today. Um, we haven't had much fun recently. Uh, he unfortunately has been plagued by recurrent check ligament injuries. It seemed though some part of him just kind of stopped working to a degree. Um, he got a check ligament injury a couple of years ago and uh, when I was at my old yard actually, so over four years ago, because I've been here four years now nearly, and um, he recovered really well from it, but then it has recurred and then recurred again. And it became to the point where he was really chronically in a lot of discomfort. So he had some surgery a while back and um, it has unfortunately not restored him to ridden health. And there was a period of time where we weren't sure if we were going to have him back to retired health which we now have and that is what he's going to be going and doing um he is going to go and retire with his friend fluffy who he has lived his whole life with up until he lived with us um he'll just go in the field every day he doesn't wear shoes anymore he lives a very luxurious life this is his this field that he goes in every day that while he's been with us he goes out this is indy my two-year-old they've been recovering together actually because indy injured her shoulder she broke her shoulder actually and had to have surgery again apparently it's been a year for it um that was last year that she had that surgery and it has taken up until now for her to be more fully recovered so he's going to the vets today to have uh, both legs re-scanned um and yeah talking about you <laughs> funny chap he's always funny like that he wants you to go up to him but then when you go up to him he doesn't want you to talk to him he just wants you to feed him something uh so he's gonna go home and after he's been to the vets and then yeah that's it and i i just wanted to kind of share some best bits really i mean it, it does make me very sad and it feels like an end of an era um because not only have i loved doing everything that i've done with obi but his owner has been incredibly instrumental in my entire ridden, you know, competitive career in the last few years. She has a horse box hire company and before I had my horse box, um, she literally took me everywhere. She, even when it wasn't taking Obi, she would allow me a horse box and I couldn't have done any of what I do without Obi either. You know, he was the start of my YouTube journey with the top tips videos and I don't think I'll ever ride a horse quite like him again. God, I cry a lot in these videos, don't I? Jeepers. It's not great, is it? Every time I come to talk to you about something, I cry about it. Um, but he is the most versatile horse I have ever ridden and I don't know whether I'll get to ride someone else a horse again like him um, or a horse with such a big heart or such a kind nature such a kind nature I don't know but I certainly hope that in sharing his journey I have inspired a few others I know that a lot of people have told me that they followed me because of him you don't see horses like him really very often doing what he did um, he went to Your Horse Live when he was just out of recovery of a check ligament injury and stood like an absolute professional with this amazing clip that he had. There have been so many things that he has done for people. He ha Before me, he went towards the year show, he evented, he went to the nationals before doing, the dress doing dressage. He really has... He's really done it all. And then we sort of took off his jumping career. He jumped a, a newcomers. So he jumped a 110 course at, you know, British show jumping. And he run some, won some rosettes 
British show jumping as well and we had great fun training with Tim Stockdale when he was still alive and he always believed in Obi and I love that about Tim because you don't you kind of have to believe in a horse like Obi and Obi believed in me and gave me an opportunity to compete consistently and he cared for me and he was very generous always um so yeah here is a real here is a whole load of obi's best bits i hope that you have enjoyed sharing this journey with me i have certainly enjoyed sharing it with you guys and um i hope that you'll still stick around now that he's not here i know he's there's been a long hiatus with him but he has been recovering and that's just been what we've had to do yeah here's to obi and here's to a very long and happy retirement for him, I hope, because he certainly deserves it. So it's been a minute, 
but uh, Obi has been at home now for a little while and I wanted to come and visit. Hello, here he is. Hello, sir. Are you having a nice time with your camely mates? Not joking. Literally a camel. How are you, sir? Your legs look very good. Oh, I've missed you, Obes. I don't have any food for you, sorry. He's having a lovely time. Living his best life with his mate. So he has actually, um, this is his home. This is where Obi used to live before he lived with us. And now he lives here again. And Rochelle has camels. guys remember the camels from before but um yeah hope you don't mind them look he's even been he's been out in the field with a camel what do you think Obes? oh you're looking so well lovely lovely boy oh so nice to see him so happy hello little tiny camel are you okay? <laughs> Not bothered. Unbelievable. Goodness me, they're funny looking creatures. Okay. Hello. Hello. Mr. Obes. So nice to see him. Missed him. Honestly. I don't know what you're looking at. They are weird. Here, look, you, I scratch you, and you scratch him. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's just so nice to see him like happy and retired like this you know michelle's got the perfect setup she's got loads of space some camels and um he can just tell her what he wants when he wants it so he will bang the door when he wants to go out in the field he bangs the gate that you just saw when he wants to come in he eats about five times a day i think and he um lives his best life these days he um yeah i don't think he'll be ridden again I'm sure I explained that already. But if he does, then that would be great. What do you think, Fluff? They're best friends, aren't you? You've been best friends for years. Years and years. Years and years. Hi! Michelle's here now. So there you go. There is the Obi update. Um, I am very sad that I don't get to see him every day. It's lovely that he's only just down the road and that I can still go and visit whenever I like. Um, but I have great peace in knowing that he has a lovely life. He is very demanding to his owner. She tells me all the time how he is constantly banging the door saying, excuse me, could you feed me, madam? So he loves his camels. He loves spending time with them. I think maybe because they're very slow energy. Um, he used to be a very high energy horse. He was always a bit of a knob, to be honest. He was a bit of a silly bugger. And so for him now to have this quieter pace of life with them and to live with them, and I just think it's what he needs. And his owner missed him terribly when he was here. She came and visited him a lot, but she knew it was the right thing for him in his, like, A, his rehab, but also his competitive career. So it was a sacrifice that she made but it was always the deal that he was going to go home and now he is and um yeah i think about him all the time and when i was making this video and watching all the clips back i was quite emotional because he's taught me so much i've he was so generous and willing and kind and it just I don't know, it made me want to be a better horse person. <clears throat> and I think he did that. 
he did show me that and he taught me so much. He opened my eyes to the world of dressage. He enabled me to go and do the things I've done and been to the nationals. You know, that it's not, it's quite rare for a horse of his type because he's not your standard. He's not a warm blood. He's a cob from Ireland and he has done the most amazing thing. And I think he, he's elevated my platform in a huge way because he showed people that a horse of a different type can be truly amazing because they have a really big heart and they have a really big desire to please. And when we show them love, they show us love back and they show us love in so many different ways. It's not just that they show us love by nuzzling us or whatever it might be. You know, they show us love by really stepping out of their comfort zone and trying really hard. And I think he's a message to all of us that being kind is the most important thing because Obi truly was kind. He was generous, kind, sweet, easy, and then a bit sassy on the top, you know, with his, have his jolly moments. So yeah, I have loved riding Obi. I miss riding Obi. I miss that view over his ears, like a, where he looks like a um, killer whale going up his neck, but, that time had to come to an end and so it has and so now he is retired and I hope you have enjoyed following his journey it feels like a real end of an era but his legacy lives on and I will forever always see the talent in the horse that maybe others wouldn't because of Obi. I will see you guys for my next video thank you for watching bye for now